so students in this module we will cover data modeling so what is data modeling the data modeling is the process of understanding and comprehending and recording and uh, making sure what we need to do with the data what we want to do on the data it's not about how we are going to do it it not it's not about the operations i think you understand what we want to do and what is required to be done on the data not about the operations itself so this is the data modeling so we have a conceptual data model we have the logical data model we have the physical data model similarly that we have the schemas also now there is a difference between the schema and the model because when we say schema we are going into very into a lot of details with reference to the model so i am going to explain these things in this module so we have the database schema and we have the database model so database schema gives the nitty gritty details about the data database blueprint of a data just like the architect provides the map with the nitty gritty details that is in the schema it contains the formulas it records the formulas what and through and what we are doing constraints defines the relationships which i'll discuss so i have this entity which was a student i had that entity which was the course and there is is a is a relationship between them okay that is the relationship i am talking about define the relationships now the data model is of three types which i just mentioned and it provides a conceptual framework okay and it can be relational it can be non relational also so when we move to the module about the chords rules then i'll explain in a lot of details the 0 to 13 or the 0 to 12 numbered chords rules what is a relational database so it can be relational it may not be relational now let me explain these uh, three models using simple example so before i go into explaining these examples let's look at the process how we go about so i have these entities entity is something which is of importance in the real world and that entity has an attribute like the student is an entity student name age phone number address are the attributes and the relationships like course is an entity so the relationship between courses taken by the students so with this i have this conceptual data modeling and using this conceptual data modeling i have to do the logical data model so what is in the logical data model i have the process models okay how things are going to be done and i have these data requirements so when i want to do certain thing what i would need i need to compute the age of the student say for example or the gpa of the student so i need to have the date of birth of the student to compute the age i need to have the grades to compute the gpa so once i have this logical data model then i go to the physical modeling and in the physical modeling i need to have these representations of the data how indexing will be performed which indexing will be done about the security of the data about the integrity of the data so i have these things requirements which are going into the physical data model and then i have this actually application running which is developed based upon these models so you see that it's a process through which additional details are being added to make it more comprehensible to make it more useful for the developer and nothing is missed that is the purpose because the cost of fixing the things missed is tremendous as compared to doing it the first right time so let's look at this example over here so the conceptual data model i have this customer customer is an entity i have this product product is an entity every customer has a name okay i have this customer number or customer id also i have this product product can also have an id it is not shown over here but can have an id and of course the product has a price okay and what is the relationship between a customer and a product 
that a product is sold to a customer and a customer purchases a product so you see the level of detail in this conceptual data model then i have this logical data model so i am assigning the type of data which is associated with the customer name which is a string okay and then i have this customer number which is an integer it is not a real number okay similarly i have this product price which is an integer in this case and you see that the i have associated the data type with the attributes of the entity and also note that this notation has changed and then i have this physical data model now i am going to more nitty gritty details that before in the in the, in the prior model it was not it was just said okay it was text now i am telling which type of text type of text okay and this customer number is still an integer but now i am saying that it is a primary key primary key is something which uniquely identifies a record a customer in this case okay similarly i have this unique product name over here so the point over here is based upon this product name this can be identified so what does this model does it model keys constraints indexes triggers and many other things so you see the level of detail goes increasing as we move ahead in this model so what are the advantages of this modeling accurate representation if we follow this process we are unlikely to miss the things and this helps in building the physical database where the data is actually going to be stored it takes care of the tables the tables are defined the primary key is defined the foreign key is defined foreign key is a relationship that if i would like to add a student assign a student to a course that student must be registered student of the university and this is easy to understand and communicate with the business and they recognize the correct data sources where the data is available which is going to be used to be processed and to be reflected in this model and finally uh, we see that there is no standard data dml is data manipulation language there is no standard dml for the databases and it needs extensive factual knowledge you need to have people who who knows all those things who knows the issues and the relationships okay and they have the factual knowledge also and they can communicate that knowledge also so it is a challenge but that's why we are here that's why you are taking this course that's why i am explaining these things so the people who develop an expertise in taking up these challenges they are going to be the winners thank you for your time